An Irish ex-diplomat has broken cover to admit Brexit Britain scored a huge trade victory with its new Australia trade deal, and Dublin will pay the price. Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced earlier this week that the UK had signed a landmark post-Brexit deal with Australia. The deal is set to eliminate tariffs on all UK goods, while also boosting jobs and businesses across the country. But Ray Bassett, a former Irish ambassador to Canada, Jamaica and Bahamas, has since shared his concern over the deal putting Irish beef exports to the UK at risk. It comes after Irish beef exports last year came to £1.6 billion, with 44% going to the UK market. He wrote on Twitter, the Australian, EU trade deal now and several more deals imminent, Ireland's huge and lucrative export of beef to the UK, worth billions, is in jeopardy. Does official Ireland have any regrets now about opposing David Cameron's reforms and Theresa May's efforts to compromise? A spokesman for Meat Industry Ireland added the UK scoring future potential trade deals with other countries could put Ireland's trading in jeopardy. The spokesman said, ever since the Brexit vote, the potential threat posed by future UK bilateral trade deals with other countries, particularly the US, Australia, Mercosur and New Zealand, has always been a serious concern for our meat exports to the UK market. These countries are major meat exporters and are generally lower priced, and with increased access to the UK market, would intensify competition. We have yet to see detail on how the phase-in period will apply, but it signals an intensification of competition for our exports in the UK market. Meanwhile, Mr Johnson added that the Australia deal showed global Britain at its best. He said, today marks a new dawn in the UK's relationship with Australia, underpinned by our shared history and common values. Our new free trade agreement opens fantastic opportunities for British businesses and consumers, as well as young people wanting the chance to work and live on the other side of the world.